I'm very curious about how we experience life through multiple realms of living, whether that be in the digital space, um, in physical, uh, potentially also in the spiritual realm as well. I work in painting, sculpture, and monoprint, and I utilize these three mediums as a way of addressing the dense compression of time and spatialization in contemporary culture, addressing the impact that that experience has on our memory um, and how we process information. Um, when thinking about this show, I was really excited about the idea of the encounter. It's something that encompasses many different experiences, be it romantic, uh, abrupt, hostile, physical, um, spiritual, mystical. I was thinking a lot about our barriers, whether it be um, interior space, exterior space, how we encounter those things, how our physical bodies might but up against uh, the outside world and also other people. One of the works that I made specifically for this show and thinking a lot about the architecture of the space here at Huxley Parlor is the work Peripheral Visions. The history of narrative painting has had a relationship to architectural spaces, whether that be in Renaissance art history, um, especially seen in the friezes and frescoes in um, church spaces. And so what I wanted to be able to do is to create a narrative that would pull the viewer into the space and then would unfurl itself as they move through um, the exhibition. The peripheral space is one that I'm very curious about. It's where we're able to see and to perceive, but you're not relying on certain senses to be able to understand things. It's much more instinctual. Um, when physically encountering the work, it just so happens that at certain points, many parts of the painting will be in your periphery as you're looking at it. One of the things that I really love about painting is this ability to extend and compress time into a still frame. So utilizing this large freeze work as a way of moving a narrative across space, both in how you would experience it physically, but also in terms of the way in which the narrative plays out across the surface. One of the things that I was really excited about in this exhibition is featuring some of my work in monoprint. Monoprint is this wonderful process in which memory is very much a part of the way of working. Um, when I'm working in painting as well, I'm never looking at reference images specifically. I do that very intentionally because I feel that how I've remembered something is in a sense my experience of it. There is this idea of working with a ghost image that really excites me. So you record a gesture on the surface of a plate, and then how that is translated is always some form of a surprise. Certain marks from a previous uh, rendering might find themselves transposed into the new um, image. In my work, Crop Recursions, these symbols and motifs of um, Roman numerals that appear in some of the sculptural works are then repeated within the painting, referencing time and the looping nature of time. Uh, I did a lot of research on the idea of recursions and recursive theory, and it's essentially a process in which you have to have the thing to then define the thing. There's this way of repeating through its own definition. In a croc recursion, there has to be a system put in place to prevent that infinite loop from repeating. I've been thinking about that a lot in relationship to our genetics and how we repeat ourselves infinitely until potentially we decide not to and the weight of that decision. In the right-hand side of the painting is a portrait. It's actually a triple portrait of my father, his late brother Judah, and myself. Um, so thinking a lot about how our history is carried through our bodies and our genetics and this repetition of ourselves and our lineage through that process.
this exhibition, as much as it is working with a lot of personal narrative, I see these works as prompts, really, as a place to question ideas of perspective and what we know and what we might not know, and to think about what it means to encounter one another.